For today's video, we are talking all about the luxury organic skincare brand Fortuna Skin. And when I say luxury, I mean luxury because this is a very, very expensive brand. They were kind to send me some sample sizes as one and one of their full sizes, but this video is not sponsored. It is not a collaboration. And of course, as always, opinions are always my own. My goal is to help you with the content that I create. And when it comes to luxury skincare and for these price points, I'm absolutely going to be brutally honest. I mean, as always, these are expensive. I'm talking most of their products are over $100 and close to $200, which is kind of ridiculous, honestly, when you're thinking about it. But I'm going to tell you why these are priced this way and just let you know a little bit more about the brand. I'm going to go over each of the products that I have been testing out and let you know what they're supposed to do, what the claims are, and then I will let you know my overall thoughts on these. Jumping right into this, Fortina Skin is Leaping Bunny certified, so that's awesome. They're cruelty-free, they're EWG verified, sustainability is really important to them. You can read more about what they do to be sustainable on their website, so definitely check that out because they do quite a few things that definitely show that sustainability is important to them. They are USDA certified organic, which means they don't use any artificial ingredients used in or on their botanicals. They don't use synthetic pesticides and no GMOs and all things like that. I definitely understand that when it comes to organic ingredients, they can tend to be on the pricier side. So I do understand why products with organic ingredients can be more expensive, but still at this price point, these prices are very high. I feel like this price point is just not accessible to most people, including myself, but let's go ahead and get into the products. Starting off with their Aqua Serena Micellar Cleansing Essence, this retails for $85 for their full-size product. This is a tri-purpose formula that combines the gentle cleansing of both a micellar water with the pH balancing benefits of a toner and the antioxidant boost of an essence. This is supposed to help to brighten, clarify, balance, and refresh the skin. It's supposed to help to brighten the skin by illuminating a dull, discolored, fatigued skin to restore its vibrant glow. It's supposed to help with clarifying the skin. This means helping with clearing clogged pores and congestion. This is also supposed to help with balancing the skin, so adjusting the pH to preserve the skin's natural acid mantle while also balancing both moisture and antioxidant levels in the skin. And it's supposed to help with refreshing, so invigorating the skin, leaving it feeling refreshed, clean, and ready for your next skincare step. Next, their face and eye serum. This is a dual use formula that's supposed to help with illuminating the skin and also the eye area. It's supposed to be a one step type of product to help give you glowing skin. It's made with a concentration of wild forage botanicals, which are supposed to help with lifting, reducing the appearance of puffiness, and also helping with evening out the skin tone, and also helping to protect against damage and dehydration. Minimizing any blotchiness that you might have, patchy, rough, and uneven texture, and also helping to protect the skin, so shielding against from the environment, so whether this be stress, weather, or even just late night indulgences is what they say on their website. Some of the highlighted ingredients in here are organic olive oil, hydrating olive leaf water and beet and collagen supporting chicory. It also has hyaluronic acid. So again, this is supposed to be a product that is going to tackle both the face and eye area with just one product. Next, the Night Knee Renewal Cream. This is a moisturizing night cream that's supposed to help with regenerating the skin during the nighttime hours, it's supposed to help with wrinkles and also help with visibly rejuvenating the look of your skin. And that's supposed to be noticeable when you wake up in the morning. This is supposed to help with smoothing the skin, so smoothing the appearance of any fine lines, imperfections. It's supposed to help with softening a rough and patchy texture. Of course, it's supposed to help with moisturizing, so replenishing the skin's water supply and helping the skin to retain that new moisture. It's supposed to help with lifting, restoring useful definition in the skin, and it's supposed to help with plumping the skin. This has bakuchiol in it, which is a natural retinol. This is supposed to help with smoothing lines and wrinkles without causing any irritation. This also has ceramides in here to strengthen the skin barrier and also help with replenishing moisture in the skin. It has ashwagandha to balance and soothe the skin, and this has a rich, thick texture, which is supposed to help with renewing and repairing the skin during its peak absorption hours, which are at nighttime. It also has other triple enzyme technology to help with improving the skin texture and radiance. Next, their Biphase Moisturizing Oil. Of course, this is supposed to help with the dryness in the skin. It's supposed to help with dull skin and daily pollutants. You're supposed to shake this up really well and it combines botanically infused olive oil and nutrient-rich olive leaf water, which are supposed to help with plumping, protecting, and replenishing the skin's moisture barrier to overall leave your skin looking nice and glowy. It has stabilized vitamin C to support the skin's natural collagen synthesis 
synthesis, helping to brighten and even out your skin tone. It has aromatic magnolia oil to replenish the skin and plump the skin with moisture. This also is supposed to help with protecting against digital blue light, UV radiation, and urban air pollution with wildly potent actives. And it is a lightweight texture to leave a luminous glow without giving you that greasy residue feeling. Then lastly, the replenishing balm. This is a reparative balm that's supposed to help with rejuvenating stressed skin while also locking in moisture to leave your skin feeling soft and nourished. It's a soothing formula that envelops the skin with moisture and helps to repair surface damage to help with illuminating dull, drab, and fatigued skin. It's supposed to neutralize red tones and dark spots and strengthen and fortify the skin to prevent free radical damage. It can be used as an overnight mask for soft glowing skin when you wake up. It's a non-occlusive waterless nourishing balm formulated for all skin types. Now that I have talked about all of the claims and the benefits that they say that these products are supposed to do, I'm going to let you know my thoughts about all of these while I apply them to my face. Also just please ignore how rough I am looking. I know my under eye bags are really bad. I have some scratches on my face from my kittens. I got too close to his face while he was in playtime. I've had a rough few days. I had to put down my chinchilla that I've had for nine years. That was so sad. So I've got bags from just crying and crying. Losing a pet is the absolute worst. So just bear with me with how rough I'm looking. My skin is probably looking worse right now because I've been so stressed and sad. So like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, these sample sizes and this one full size were kindly gifted to me by Fortuna Skin. Um, but as always, opinions are always honest and my own. And this is a luxury skincare brand and so, so expensive. I think this is probably one of the most expensive brands that I've ever tried. I'm super grateful that they were open to sending these to me. Um, but when it comes to products that are this expensive, I mean, I just have to be like, I feel like extra critical to let you guys know if this is actually worth the price because these are so expensive. It's not accessible to most people probably. I just added up the price of all these products if I were going to get the full size of each product and that total comes to $1,005, which is absolutely ridiculous and not like, I mean, like I get it, they're using organic ingredients, ingredients that are more expensive to get. You know, they're being extra careful with how they source these ingredients. They're, you know, avoiding pesticides and all of these things, which is amazing and great. But this price point is not accessible to most people. It's not accessible to me. I couldn't I couldn't purchase these full sizes um, if I wanted to. Like, even if I love these products, I, like, I can't do that. <laughs> like, because I have rent to pay and groceries to buy. I just, I couldn't afford it. And I feel like that's something a lot of people can't just go spending a thousand dollars on a skincare routine. I mean, given these full sizes, they do look like pretty decent sizes. Will they last you a while? I imagine maybe they could last three to four months, maybe a little longer, depending how on how much product you use. You definitely don't need a lot of product um, for each application when you use these. So I could see that the full sizes would potentially go a long way and last you a while, but um, just considering that there are, you know, other products that will last, you know, just as long available at a way more affordable price, it's really hard um, to imagine just paying this price point. But I want to go ahead and apply the products for you. Um, also, they um, these are these little sample sizes. So they have travel sizes on their website too, and they also have an option to build your own like sample set. And the travel sizes are larger than their samples. So these are their samples. So this is the smallest option you can get. And they do have an option online where you can pick four sample sizes. So for example, these, these are all sample sizes for $95. $95? Ah, it's so painful. Like these are not going to last you that long. Like I feel like these products can last a little bit longer because you really don't need a lot of product. But with these, like I've only used these probably for like five days using morning and night. I feel like you could probably get a week, a week out of these. And for $95 for a week, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm using too much product at once, but I mean, these are small sizes. You guys can also just kind of think about it for yourself, like how long you think these would last. Um, but $95 for four sample sizes, just to kind of give you a try. Um, and I feel like a week also isn't like the most, not the best amount of time to really test out a product. I mean, I guess it's a good amount of time to see like how your skin responds to the products 
if, it, if they cause any breakouts in the initial first week. So you can kind of get a feel for the products. But even then, I feel like I want to at least test out products for two weeks to know if I really like them or not and how my skin responds. Because sometimes it just takes a little while for your skin to adjust to products. That's just kind of something to think about. Like, this is a very, very, very pricey brand. So anyway, sorry for the rambling, but I just wanted to kind of get into the prices a little bit and yeah, all that. Anyway, so this is their Aqua Serena Micellar Essence. So I have a little bit of this left. It'll probably last me a few more uses. And I just take it kind of on the palm of my hand rub it a little bit not too much and then I just pat it into my skin I feel like I have to kind of go in a couple times to get this all over my face just really pressing it into my skin and as far as this goes like I feel like with toners you know it's hard to see a difference right away also my skin is so dehydrated and just not happy right now uh, probably just from stress and sadness but anyway um, I don't really know that like this is doing that much like again like it's I haven't been using it for that long so it's hard to know if this is a toner that I would love honestly I feel like this has caused my face a little bit of stinging right now it's not I'm not having a reaction to it at all it might have also just been because I was so been crying all day I don't know if that makes a difference with how your skin is but anyway so I, I mean I don't really know if I really have that much to say about this toner um, that would make me feel like it would be worth spending $85 on the full size because the full size of the toner or micellar essence is $85 which is one of their more affordable products. I think it is their most affordable full size product but it's still $85. So I just there's nothing like crazy amazing that I feel like I'm getting with this toner. You know you could look at the ingredients and see if kind of the things that it claims stand out to you if you think the ingredients are ingredients that your skin would like. I do like the idea that this is kind of supposed to help with maybe like evening out the skin tone a little bit because I do have dark spots from past acne. So I love a good toner that's gonna help with dark spots. I feel like I would need to test this out longer to really get a fair review for you. That was probably the least helpful review ever for the toner or essence, but it's supposed to be like an essence cleanser and toner all-in-one type of product so yeah i mean I, it hasn't caused any breakouts i feel like there is the potential that it can help with like congestion i don't feel like my skin has been more congested when i've been using it but again like i just i haven't been using it long enough in order to really show like or tell you if i've seen actual results you know skincare takes a while to work next to their uh, face and eye serum i actually do like this i feel like it definitely has potential to work but again like i just i'm almost done with it i've been using it for about a week and you know a week is not long enough to see results so i can't like in this video i can't really like tell you guys or show you guys before and after pictures really because I haven't been using it long enough to get really results with, if that makes sense. But I do think it feels like nice and lightweight. It absorbs into the skin well. I'm just not getting enough product out. It doesn't feel like sticky. And I do, it does say it can help with like evening out the skin tone, which is definitely something that I want to help fade those kind of like red marks from past acne. It also is something that you can use under your eyes. So it's like a two in one product for your face and kind of under your eyes help with depuffing. I think it has potential, but again, like at this price point, I just like, I don't see anything crazy amazing with this. That would make me want to spend $185 on the full thing. I do though, again, like feel like if I used it for longer, then I'd be able to have a better idea of if I think it works well. Next, I'm gonna use their night cream. This is their nightly renewal cream. I do want to like spritz my spritz my face before that because I think it's gonna help absorb the product better. So I've just been spritzing my face with a mist every time before I use the cream. This is just the Tower 28 Mist Daily Rescue Facial Mist. I actually found a dupe for this I'm on Amazon from a different brand. It's more affordable. I love Tower 28 though. Um, and the bottle's cuter, <laughs> but um, there's literally another product you can get on Amazon that is cheaper than this, and it's literally the same exact ingredients, which is water, sodium chloride, and hypochlorous acid. It's gonna help with like breakouts and bacteria. So anyway, I just missed my face a little bit before that, and then I'm gonna apply some of the night cream. This little sample size, not gonna last me long, but also you just don't need a lot of product with this. 
I think this is a nice night cream. I don't think that I would like this cream if I didn't apply a mist first, just because I don't think it would absorb as well into my skin. I feel like it would feel too thick. This definitely is kind of like a thicker feeling cream. So if I were just to apply this right after the serum without a mist, I think it would just feel a little bit too heavy on my skin. Um, but with the mist, it just absorbs into my skin really well. It definitely leaves like a nice like glow to my skin. Um, so there it is, like it's a nice moisturizer. But is it the best moisturizer I've ever used that would make me wanna spend this full size one of this one is $285. No, absolutely not. Like I can't, like even if I loved this, I could not justify spending $285 on a cream. I can't afford that and a lot of people can't. So brutally honest, I can't. It's a nice cream though. I mean, I like it. But I also don't necessarily think that it is the best for my skin type. I do have combination acne prone skin. I feel like this might be more suited for people who do have dry skin, although it has not caused any breakouts. So that's a plus, that's really good. I think it's a nice moisturizer, but again, not for my skin type and the price point for the full size is just gonna be too expensive. I actually do have a discount code from them if any of you, if any of these products like really stand out to you and you do wanna try it, maybe you kind of have the money <laughs> to try out new products and you really enjoy skincare. Um, I do have a discount code for 15% off if you guys are interested, I'll put that in the description box below. But I feel like for me personally, I still couldn't afford it with a 15% off. Just as, These are just so expensive. I do appreciate the mission of the brand to be more sustainable I do love that they use organic ingredients. I like that they don't use pesticides on their botanicals, that their products are free of parabens and phthalates and sulfates and things like that. But you can also find other brands that aren't as expensive. I feel like this sounds so negative, but like just with this price point, like these are not bad products, don't get me wrong. These are nice products, but for the price, they're, I don't think that they're the best for my specific skin type. I just couldn't justify when I know that there are other products that are more affordable that do work well for my skin type. Not that these work bad for my skin type, I just don't think that these are specifically for my exact needs or my combination acne prone skin. Now let's get into the oil. This has a really nice, like light, calm, kind of like fruity scent to it. I just take a really little bit, only like two to three drops. And then I just pat this into my skin. So this has a nice like fruity scent. It kind of feels like you're giving yourself some nice self care. Smells like you're at the spa. It is a nice oil. And I am not a huge facial oil person. I feel like that's come from the fact that I do have acne prone skin and I just feel like oils can feel really heavy on the skin and they can sometimes cause congestion. So I've not always been huge on facial oils, but this, this is a nice facial oil. It doesn't feel overly heavy, but it still feels like an oil, but it doesn't feel overly heavy. It just I mean, also depends on how much you apply. You just need to apply it a little bit. Definitely leaves my skin looking nourished, feeling nourished. Has a nice glow to it. Makes my skin look nice and healthy. And I have not, in the week of using this, I really don't think that this has caused congestion, which is great because sometimes oils can do that. It's a nice oil, but again, full size is $225. It's one fluid ounce. I mean, this is definitely gonna last you a very long time considering that you only need to use like two to three drops per application. You can also apply some to your neck too, but anyway, either way, this will last. This will last a long time. Like I've been using it for a week and it doesn't even look like I've used any of the product really. It will last a long time, but still $225. It's a lot. It's a lot. I guess you kind of have to like calculate how long your other products normally last you and then compare to how long this would last you and then the prices of like repurchasing other products because maybe they don't last as long. But I mean, there are other facial oils that are more affordable than this with the same amount of product. I wish it was more affordable and more accessible to more people. But yeah, it doesn't cause breakouts and it leaves my skin glowy. Lastly, their replenishing balm. This is a really pretty blue color. This one also smells really nice. I'm trying to think of what this smells like. I don't even, I feel like I don't have a good description. Not quite fruity still kind of like has that like spa scent in the original demo i know i just like applied it in dots but i feel like the best way is taking a little bit on your finger and then just like rubbing it between your fingers so it really like melts in and then just dabbing it into the face rather than like massaging it into the face i feel like dabbing it into the skin works really well and this is also 
going to be very very moisturizing it really kind of like locks in i feel like all of your other products they say that this is going to be kind of like used like an overnight mask and i definitely feel like that's a good kind of description for it because it really is just like locking in all of the other skincare steps that you did it does feel a little bit heavy on my skin again i do have combination skin but I feel like if you have dry skin, maybe then I feel like this is something that you might really like because it is going to be very moisturizing. But this has not caused any breakouts for me in the week that I've been using it. So that's awesome. Also, this is a sample size again. And I actually feel like I have quite a few more uses with this because with this, like truly, like you don't need a lot of product. Like really, you only need a very little bit of product and it'll be enough for your entire face. And you can even add some to your neck. Probably want a little, add a little bit more if you're applying to your neck as well. But point is that I feel like this one will last quite a while. And I imagine like a full size that will last you a long time because you just don't need much product at all. So I feel like it's all like, how much product do you use? How long are they gonna last for you? Depending on how much you would personally use it and then kind of comparing the price with that. Like if they're gonna last six months, then maybe that makes more sense to spend the money or it's not as painful to spend that kind of money, but still dropping that all that amount all at once, that's kind of rough. That, that, that's a lot. Like that's half of rent for some people. So anyway, I hope that didn't sound too negative. I'm not saying that these are bad products at all. I think that these are very nice. They're definitely luxurious. But for the price point, I, I just couldn't personally see myself trying to purchase these. And I do have other products that I think do work better for my specific skin type and my skin kind of concerns. I would say if you want to target like fading dark spots, but again, I don't know how well they work for that just because I haven't been using them long enough and I haven't been taking before and after pictures. So I can't really say if these do well for fading dark spots, but they do have a lot of claims for quite a few of these products that it's supposed to help with um, creating a more even skin tone. So that makes me think that it would help with dark spots. So there's definitely the potential with that, but with dark spots, with any skincare, it does take a while to see results for that because dark spots are really hard to fade. Um, but these might be really helpful for that. So anyway, if you guys do have any questions about any of these products, please let me know in the comment section below. I definitely do my best to answer any questions that you may have. And if you do want to try any of these out, maybe you just love skincare or have the budget to buy luxury skincare, um, then I also do have a 15% off discount code in the description box below if you are interested in trying any of these. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see even more content from me in the future, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe subscribe to my channel. But thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys.